Hello and welcome to my review for Transformers 1 Robot Battlers Starscream. So this is Wave 2 of Robot Battlers. Wave 1 had uh, Alita 1, uh, Sentinel Prime, and Bumblebee. Wave 2 has Alpha Tron, Starscream, and a repack of Bumblebee. Wave 2 is what we got in Canada right away, so that's what I was able to pick up. And this was $23 Canadian. Uh, so what this is is a simplified toy that really relies on a gimmick. And it's a gimmick that... As a 90s kid, I grew up with, uh, which is kind of like a, a take on like Rock'em Sock'em type ro uh, robots gimmick. So you basically just, you have these peg holes, plug them in this, and then my kid calls this like, like scissors. So you end up taking this and you just move it like so. And basically he flails his arms. And while he does flail them, you notice that this is actually like remaining in this position, you know, most of the time. And the idea is that you're supposed to be hitting uh, another one, like for, I have Alpha Shrine here in the same wave, and they basically hit each other like this. Now, while it's not a terrible gimmick, what what I had in the 90s, which this doesn't have and what Rock'em Sock'em has that this doesn't have, is a feature where you know you've won. So for example, in the 90s you'd have like, um, like I had a, there was Wolverine versus Hulk, and you'd have like a certain button where if you press it, then Wolverine would... Uh, collapse, so that's how you know you want it. And Rock'em Sock'em Robots, obviously, if you hit uh, the chin of one of them, then you know that, that that one person's won, the one's lost. In this, you just flail around endlessly. I'm not a huge fan of that. And of course, that's the whole gimmick, and that basically compromises the entire figure. Uh, the difference here is that it does transform, it being a Transformers toy. So, uh, and I'll show that to you now. So you take this off. Also, I, <laughs> I mean, Alpha Trion made sense. Just show you the comparison. Alpha Trion's weapon is ends up being used in his beast mode so that that's fair however in here it's like a, it's a blast effect so it's kind of weird that you have a blast effect ends up being used as a like a solid sword or weapon type thing in any case so to transform him this is a bit more engaged than the alpha tron one uh what you do is you're gonna flip the body and by the way that's why and it's too bad because like the, there's actually some decent not decent deco but like the paint used is a really, really nice blue, and I don't, I, I mean, it's 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 fine, I'd like it to be painted more. And what really sucks is that you've got this here, this part is not painted at all, so it doesn't even look like it's part of the, like, I mean, everyone knows how Starscream looks like, right? It looks like this. And yet here we don't have the paint on the side, so it, it just makes his head look smaller and shrunk, and it's too bad. Um, the reason why is because part of transformation is that you flip him up like this. And yeah, you'll see that the arms fall to the side, and then you take the legs, and you bring them to the side, like so, and they will plug. No moment. There you go. And there are little pegs for the the bottom of the feet to plug in. And this is it, which I think is actually the the jet mode. I think is pretty cool. It looks a lot like you know the the touch jet that I'm I'm used to as a fan of the you know, more G1 type things. Uh, and this, I think, is, is a really cool jet. Obviously, it's simplified. You see the robot underneath. But the style of jet, the detailing, I find very, very nice. It'd be cool to actually have like a, a deluxe or Voyager toy that's using this design. It looks... I think it looks really good. I mean, the, the way it's designed. That, that's it. Obviously, I'd like it to, to fit better and to look better in alt mode. But I think the, the, the way that it's designed... Uh, is fine. Uh, another thing I wanted to point out, and I found cool, I don't really see it on the Alpha Trion, like here, but this definitely looks like the Decepticon symbol. So I find that pretty cool. I'm not sure what, the, in comparison, this is. It's maybe the something just for Alpha Trion or for the Primes. In any case, so that's Starscream. I hope this review was informative. I find this extremely expensive for $23 Canadian. Uh, that's maybe like $15, $17 USD. Uh, I'd be more comfortable with, like, like this would be, this to me, is like max $10. There's there's not much uh, articulation involved with this. It's a simplified gimmick that's existed for many years already. So I find that the asking price to be very high. Uh, in case your kids do like toys like this, wait for a sale. But I personally don't recommend these. And if uh, toys of this toy line interest you, I would go for the Prime Changers, which, which I think are fine for what they are. In any case, I wish you all the very best, guys. Bye.